more dividing. But this time there's going to be a shortcut. First of all, I'm going to do this the hard way. I'm going to do 4.68 divided by 10. We're going to grind it out and then I'll show you the really quick shortcut that we use for numbers like this. 4.68 divided by 10. There's our decimal, should we need it? There's no decimals out here, so we're fine. We don't have to do any shifting in a case like this. We just jump in and start the division drill. 10 into 4 doesn't go. 10 into 46 goes 4 times. 4 times 10 is 40. 46 minus 40 is 6. Drop down another digit. Start again. 10 into 68 goes 6 times. 6 times 10 is 60. 68 minus 60 is 8. How do we keep going here? Are we really out of digits? We're not, because remember, there's an endless string of zeros after the decimal point, or after the last digit. We can keep dropping down zeros as long as we want to, and I'm going to go just one more step. 10 into 80 goes 8 times. 8 times 10 is 80. Nothing left. At this point, I know I can stop because it's going to be zeros forever after this. There's no more remainder left to worry about. Now, look at what we just got. 4.68 divided by 10 came out to just 0 0.468. Exact same number except the decimal shifted. And that's the rule that we want you to remember. Dividing by 10 is equivalent to shifting your decimal one step to the left. We could have done this op we could have done this division without ever drawing out the division symbol just if we know that fact. Let me give you another example real fast. If you have 538.62 divided by 10, all that happens is your decimal takes one hop to the left. Your answer will be 53.862. Keep watching, there are a couple more examples where we'll do exactly this.